Now I really like the extended usefulness of this jig, this little uh, uh, jointing jig. Uh, what I'm going to do here though is I want to make a perfect 90 degree cut. Uh, last time I used my miter saw and it just you know got a little bit out of, out of whack. Uh, not noticeable until you put a square to it, but anyway, what I'm going to do here, or what I have done here, is this side of the jig is zero clearance with the blade, so I'm going to run a straight edge up to my piece and cross cut it this way while it's clamped down. Uh, hopefully this will be uh, more accurate than the way I did it last time, but this little jig is very handy. When gluing these up this time, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm going to be sure to write top on the tops of both of these. That way I'm not uh, guessing at where my holes are. But anyway, I got the cavity drilled out. I'm going to glue the top and bottom on, let them sit for about a half hour or so, and then start working on the bottom. Next, i got to trim these off nice and smooth. I started to use a handsaw, but uh, that got old quick. So... Uh, what I did here is I just rested it up against close to the zero clearance of the sled and uh, just worked my way around just eyeballing it. I've still got a lip on all sides but once I'm done with this I'll just you know flush that up on the belt sander. Now that I've got the uh, top and bottom uh, coplanar with the body, uh, I can now start drilling out the top and bottom. Uh, luckily, I marked top on both of these, so I'm just going to drill out the depth of the uh, Forstner bit, a recess down in the bottom, followed by a uh, three-quarter inch Forstner bit for the middle, or for the uh, cork plug. So that's the drill bit I used in the last set, and as you can see, it is one eighth of an inch. Uh, for the pepper, that was great, so I'm going to use it for pepper. For the salt, it was a bit much. So the only thing I have that's smaller than that is, come on now, is this brad nail. So it's not much smaller than that, but it is a little bit, so hopefully that'll help. I'm going to use this for the salt and that drill bit for the pepper. So here they are. Um, I just went with the cross pattern again. Uh, you know, you someone suggested last time I did these to do an S pepper or S pattern 
and a P pattern. Uh, you know that would look great. It really would, but I don't think um, I don't think I have something small enough to make it to where you know you're gonna need a decent amount of holes to to, to be able to distinguish that's a letter. And I think the more holes we put in this, the more problematic we're gonna be. So I'm just gonna stay simple with it, and <clears throat> that's pretty much it. I'm gonna sand these off uh, with my actually I'm probably gonna use my random orbital sander because my belt sander's got a little too coarse of grain on it, uh, too coarse of sandpaper on it, so I like it. I've used my random orbital sander to sand up to uh, up to 120 on it and now I'm just gonna hit it all with some 220 on my little foam pad. Okay, well I've got them all sanded up to 220 and I'm really excited to put some oil on this walnut and see how it turns out. Alright, the moment of truth. Let's, let's see what these things look like. This is the one I'm anxious to see. Like I said, I, I really like walnut. That looks super cool. I like that. This bottom piece, all well, the top does too. This bottom piece has some pretty good figure to it. it. Has some swirls in the grain. There's a couple swirls right here. I don't know if any of this is showing up on camera, but. That's pretty cool. Uh, my last set I made, uh, my mom saw them and she said she wants a set, so this is for my mother. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. Get a little closer, you can see. Pretty nice grain. And the maple turned out rather well. But yeah, uh, they're done. I don't have a cork yet. Uh, I ran out of corks, so I'm going to run up to the store and get some. But uh, trash to treasure. Um, junk to salt and pepper shakers. So thanks for watching. Uh, you guys like what you see. Uh, like and subscribe and have a great day.